Hello and welcome to this GNU Cash lesson where I'm going to cover the accounts receivable entries in uh, GNU Cash. To view customers that are already in the system, you go to business, customer, customer overview. So as you can see there, this is the list of customers that I already have in the system. So you have the company name, the customer number, and the address. If you want to add another customer, what you do is just go to business, customer, and new customer. So let's give the customer a name. We can give it a number. Maybe the name we'll call John Paul. J O H 001 will be the customer number. And the name will be John Paul as well. Email address. Then on the billing information, you specify the currency and the terms. So let's say we have agreed that when we invoice them, they have to pay 15 days after the invoice debt. So I'm just selecting that. No discount at the stage and no credit limits. We also need a shipping address. Just type the same name, John Paul, the address. So let's say it's a different address. Then maybe the email will be the shipping email. So shipping. Okay. So once I've done that, I will just create or okay. say okay. So as you can see, now John Paul is part of my customer list. So once you have your customer list, the next thing that you want to do is you want to to bill that customer. Billing the customer is very easy. So you can either right click on the customer there and enter the invoice or you can go to business, customer and new invoice. So let's create here and say in new invoice. Okay. So we're going to say invoice number 004. So that's invoice number four. Then you select the customer by searching. So if you say John, find. So you see there, find them, but you can use all these to search. Click and select okay then if you have jobs different jobs then you can also link the invoice to a job or billing id but in this case i'm not going to link it to anything so i'm just saying okay then you get to this so this is your header which we've already entered and you can just say the, what's the description of the job okay so on the action here we've got three options you can either choose hours so if it is a job which is charged hourly you then select hours, but if it's material that you've sent to them, you choose the material and specify the quantity and everything, or if it's a project. So in this instance, uh, these are materials that we have sent to their warehouse. So then you also select the income account, which will be your, your sales account. So in this case, I'll say it's other income. So the quantity, so we've sent 12, then you enter the unit price, 2000. So I can now post this invoice okay so i'm happy with the invoice so i'll just post it click this function here then that's the posting date okay so now once the invoice is posted it's ready to pay you can either click on here to do the receipt or you can go to business again customer and process a payment so let's just process from here so if you click pay so the customer is john paul and this is the invoice that they're paying and they're paying that much so what we're going to do now is we are going to just process that payment it's going into the savings account so you get okay payment has been processed so if i close this screen and if i go to my savings account open the account so i'll be able to see there that john paul has deposited twenty four thousand into that account so that's how you can use gnu cash to track your customer transactions you can also print some invoices i'll just show you how to print some of the invoices so for example if you go to businesses customer then find an invoice so you can either find an invoice by the id or you can search by the company okay so if i search by company and i just type john I search so there is the invoice for john then i open the invoice so that's the invoice okay so once i have the invoice i can either duplicate it if i want to invoice them for next month a similar uh, job okay so to print the invoice just click on print invoice icon then that's the invoice so you have your invoice number the date the due date and you also have the address and all the details of the invoice if you have any questions with regard to uh, accounts receivables don't hesitate to contact us in the comment box down below and please like comment and also share this video with your friends